Hi, in this session, I am going to talk about mutasynthesis. Mutasynthesis is a strategy used for restraining movement for secondary metabolites. Unlike primary metabolites, improvement of secondary metabolite production has some difficulties. The reason is most of the primary metabolic pathways are universal in nature. For example, glycolysis, Krebs cycle, or the production of an amino acid or an organic acid, these all are universal in nature. And it varies between organisms, but it in a very marginal way. There is no major change in these pathways. If you know the pathway in one organism, we can easily find what are the differences in other organisms. They are more or less universal in nature. But secondary metabolic uh, synthesis pathway are more divergent. Secondary metabolites are itself a diverse group. And the, its metabolic pathway also varies very substantially. So it is very difficult to find a strategy which fits for all secondary metabolic production uh, strain improvement. So that selection of secondary metabolites higher producers are difficult. And what strategies we are using is analog resistant mutants and revertence, just like in the primary metabolic pathway. One other strategy is mutasynthesis. Mutasynthesis is the mutation biosynthesis. In this case, we are intentionally making a mutation within for an enzyme in a biosynthetic pathway and we disturb the biosynthetic pathway. After that, we will introduce a precursor to channel, channel the metabolism in some other way to produce a better product. So, in mutasynthesis, first stage, we take the mutant and produce a mutation and we will make the biosynthetic pathway defective. And to this defective biosynthetic pathway microorganism, we will add a precursor which is different from the original product and this microorganism tend to incorporate our precursor to the product to get a better product. And I will explain it in more details. This is a conceptual biosynthetic pathway. In this what happens, the capital A is converted to capital B with the help of an enzyme designated as small a and capital C is converted to D and by combining capital B and capital D, a product is formed called a DB. So DB is the actual secondary metabolite so compound, antibiotic or something like that. So this is the real pathway. So what we are going to do, we are going to mutate this small i. So we are going to introduce a mutation in the enzyme small i, which prevent the conversion of capital A to the capital B. So no capital B is produced. So this combining capital B with the capital D is not happening. So the product DB is not produced. So by introducing a mutation in small a, we are disturbing the whole pathway and production of DB is will not happen. But the conversion of C to D is unaffected. D will be in the medium, will be in the inside cell. So what we are going to do, we are introducing a precursor. So this pathway is already unaffected. So we are introducing a precursor called E. E is different than B. So, in the absence of B, what the microorganisms do is they combine D and E to produce a different product called a DE. So, the original biosynthetic pathway produced DP, but in mutasynthesis, we are introducing a mutation in A and we are introducing a new precursor with the help of D and E, we are producing a different product which is called DE. This is mutasynthesis. And I will give you an example. This example is for Streptomyces friday, which is which produce the antibody called neomycin. In the real, in the ordinary pathway, or the real natural pathway, they are producing neomycin. And one of the intermediate step need deoxystreptamine as a precursor. So what we do, we isolate Streptomyces friday, which is defective for the production of deoxystreptamine. So this organism, this particular mutant is not producing deoxystreptamine, so it cannot produce neomycin. So we have a mutation, a defective uh, metabolic pathway in streptomyces friday. Then what we do, we add a precursor to the bacteria called streptamine. So the what the microorganism do, the defective mi microorganism of streptomyces friday, which incorporate streptamine instead of DOC streptamine for, to the pathway and to produce hy hybrimycin A. So the ordinary bacteria used to produce neomycin and when we introduce an mutation and streptamine, it produces hybrimycin. It's a different antibiotic, it has different spectrum of activity 
so we get a modified product and one other option is like instead of streptamine if you give epistreptamine the microorganism will produce hypermycin b so we have improved the strain to produce a different antibiotic naturally to produce neomycin with the help of a mutation and uh, introduction of a precursor we produce two different value added antibiotics this strategy is extensively used in antibiotic industry because the old antibiotics will get the microorganism will get resistant to the old antibiotics so we are trying to different ways to modify the antibiotic to get different type of antibiotic which is, can be used to treat diseases caused by antibiotic resistant bacteria there are several examples of mutasynthesis if you say the rampamycin b is ordinary production is rampamycin b by through mutasynthesis we can produce Rifamycin W, this is Rifamycin actually, or Cisomycin production can be altered to Mutamycin, Streptomycin can be converted to Streptamutin. So, there are so many examples of mutasynthesis for the improvement and alter, alteration of secondary metabolic production. Thank you so for listening. Thank you.